Estes, but it's time for Blacklist International to go for their final ban. Still, right now you can see they're trying to nail the jungler down for Incendio Supremacy with the Hayabusa 2. That's three jungle assassin bans. I think everyone knows here that TNZ likes to play the assassins, and that is also why Blacklist International, they opt for a assassin bans twice in the second phase. Now though, Incendio taking their time in the first phase towards the second phase. I personally feel they should pile more towards the XP. Lapu Lapu is available, but no, they opt for that new song perhaps to catch that carry you know, more vo uh, more easily. A Yuzong that is definitely a matchup that is somewhat nightmaric for Blacklist International. This was the Yuzong, well not the exact same Yuzong, yeah, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. pick that really yeah. gave them a whole lot of trouble. Yeah, this Yu Zong pick is almost like force because looking at the meta right now, if you just let the marksmen do whatever they want, then it's then it's GG, man. Yep. It's, it's a complete nightmare. So I love the Yu Zong pick because even Blacklist International, they're kind of letting uh, Incendio know we can't handle backline divers because most probably this Kaja is going to be a rogue Kaja and you can only catch one. So if you can force out the all very, very early, then everyone, everyone else can go in and they're picking up the Benedetto right now for Edward, and they're picking up the Kadita. And here's the thing, here's the thing. I heard that the Kadita is actually one of the top picks just because of the way that she can actually put pressure on the map, really making it so that whatever your win condition is, you want to play early, you want to play mid games, like, no. Going up against Kadita, forget about it. They're not going to be able to execute. I mean, to add to that, right, Lapel, Miracle, take a look at the composition. Crowd control, they have the Divine Judgment, they have Kadita, Massive, huge crown control. Plus, add to that, they have Valentina that can take the fatal links away. So, crowd control, it looks like Blacklist, they want to team fight here, especially after level four. All they are going to look for is team fight. Whoa, whoa but Incendio responds. What? 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 Whoa. That's Guinevere, that's most probably going to the jungle. Wait, wait, wait. We're swinging the swabs. Okay. And yes, yes, it is TNZ in the jungle. Okay. And Wise is bringing out that Valentina in the jungle. Here's, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, because there are changes in the items as well. Whoa. Where right now, basic attacks is, is looking very, very strong, right? So giving, giving Guinevere that kind of buff, like it's not a direct buff. It's like a, a I, I don't know what to call it, right? But you're buffing one thing and then you just Absolutely. subsequently buffing the it's other a chain. thing. So it's this is gonna be interesting. I haven't heard about this Grinner Reprint. In the jungle, right? In the we jungle. saw it. Wise was actually playing it back then in season 10 of MPLPH. He got inspired. He got inspired, and right now, Incendio Supremacy with their dive composition up against Blacklist International's comp, which has a bit of everything. They have pick, they can team fight, they can front some back, and they can also dive. So Right now, I just want to ask you, Lapel, before we get into the Land of Dawn, who do you like better from the drafts? In terms of the drafts, I gotta go for Blacklist because it's a very safe draft, right? Because it's easy to execute, and yeah. Five seconds till the well, enemy. ladies and gentlemen, it's time to dive into the Land of Dawn for game number one. The opening Welcome. of the M4 World Championships with Blacklist International on the blue side and Incendio Supremacy on the red side. I mean, in hindsight, I thought Blacklist was the only team that wants a team fight, but now I get a better closer look. Incendio, they have the Atlas, they have the Youth Song, they have the Beatrix. I mean, they are also looking for a team fight. Oh, they have information that Wise has used the Retribution. Will they? Uh, take advantage of that. Right now, actually looking at the game, I want to see which one will hit their power spike first and when is that going to be? Because in terms of level 4, in terms of timing, I want to see if they do want to get the level 2 turtle. And if Incendio wants to do that, they kind of have to put Apex to the, to the EXP lane a little bit just to absorb like at least one wave so that you can get that level 4 on the Atlas quickly. TNZ getting the knockup already. Venus going to be taken low. Ooh. Flickering out right now as Incendio had complete control of that mid lane. It is going to be Lethal Wanderer, picked up by Wise, picks up the Fatal Links as well. Wise looking for it, jumps in, oh, Wise two members, bring it back for the combo to come in to pick up first blood around Blacklist International strike first. Oh my god, Incendio, they're caught. Yeah, a good initiation from, of course, the Valentina Wise there. And yeah, they have to pay the price. Now, TNZ, 
taking down once, what do you think the foul? Rotations, they're gonna be late. Okay, in terms of rotations in Sendio, what they look like they were trying to do is they were trying to control mid and trying to transition that into the jungle. But Wise was right because at level four, he basically has a, a, a different kind of dimension that you can't play the Valentina. And that's kind of a mistake because you already saw the Valentina first, then you chose to pick up the Atlas. Mm. But I like that Blacklist, they were playing like reactionary, like, oh, you wanna play in this area? Let's go, bro, I can do that too. Remember the carry. He wants to farm as much as possible in the early game. But take a look at this. The space that Blacklist has created, it will be a free turtle in the first minute. First two minutes. They wasted no time, and that's the turtle slain by Secret Lab. You can already Ooh. see it here. Blacklist International getting that early control. This is what we're be we've been talking about. When they get to group up and when Oheb is able to clear his lane faster, they go and they group up in towards the mid lane. We're now wise. Let's try to take Rosa's ultimate here. Again, it's super flexible for Blacklist International and they can control the tempo. There's no real need to look for any skirmishes, but they are going to be looking for something in the XP lane. Alien instantly with the Black Dragon form. Canceling out the Divine Judgment and getting out. Yeah, right now, looking at how Blacklist is playing, I like that you brought up the tempo because this is what they are doing because they got Incendio in their mistake of the rotation in mid. So right now, they're trying to force it out on, on the side lanes, trying to make it so that they're, they're, they're wasting their, their, their ult. And right now, looking at this kind of situation, they're just making it so that Incendio, they can't fight. Yeah, the way I see it in Sendio, they need to be careful. They cannot be driven by the tempo that Blacklist has established here. They need to find their own pace. They need to find their own tempo because Blacklist, take a look already. They are leading in rotations and as well as space. Perhaps a gang top side might occur here. Let's see. We'll see. Tianzi though jumps in. Perfect, perfect movement there for, from Haji to get out. And in that XP lane, like you mentioned, Aliens can be caught. Wise picks up a kill, and that's two on the board for the Filipino champion. Blacklist International now controlling that XP lane. And even the gold lane with a gank here. Sunshine gonna be picked off, and Incendio Supremacy currently are getting outclassed with Venus, getting brought back to the team. That's finally a trade back towards Incendio. I mean, take a look at the spells here. Two petrifies with a lot of CC. Blacklist, they're ready to party, but take a look at TNZ. TNZ right now caught in the midst of it all. Right now, Edward's able to actually dish out so much damage. Wise picks up the orange buff. Alien jumps in with the damage as well, but Wise comes out, gets out with a black dragon form. Edward is not really going to be at risk of dying here unless that damage comes in. Edward looks for the petrify, will fall to the hands of Rosa, and it gives that turtle control back to Incendio. Incendio. Yeah. Two things I do want to say because I we, we brought it up where Blacklist have already won that, that, that small skirmish in mid and they transitioned to both the EXP as well as the goalie. So right now they're playing textbook, but they made a mistake where they tried to overcommit going into the jungle of, of Incendio and they got to be careful. Oh. And speaking of careful, Sunshine has sat down. That's Sit down, boy. Again, the pickoff coming in. Yes, he's going to be caught. Oh my goodness. It's a perfect combination of skills to punish Incendio. Tianzi still able to back off. Alien jumps in. A very good counter engage, but it's going to be turned back around again. Edward running from the hills. Rosa picking up the kill back again to trade it and to finally get that even trade. Why still trying to dish out some more damage, but Apex 47 is going to be caught, forced to flicker out, and Blacklist International still maintaining that lead in the fifth minute. Incendio, they managed to get a slight compensation there, taking down a member in Edward, but Incendio, they cannot do much. Now, Emblem Wise here, anything significant, LaFell? The only significant, uh, significant thing is that Tianzi is actually fo uh, focusing on the cooldown uh, reduction for the Emblem, so it looks like he, he... The main idea was actually to kind of like snowball with this Grinifer pick, but because they lost that uh, initial skirmish, it kind of puts them a little bit in the back foot. And speaking of which, right now, I do want to talk about the, the, the goalie, because with Blacklist 2.5k ahead, Oheb, he's just, he's just putting a... like. Like, he's shutting this game down, because at the point in Sendio, it looks like they can come back. I think this carry is just going to pop off, and it's, it's going to be game over. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Take a look at the items here. Talking about carry, DHS has built. Corrosion Scythe is next. So expect a lot of movement speed, but take a look at the maneuvers in the mid side. A good offense, but a better defense, it seems like. Take a look at the items as well. What do you see? No, honestly, for me, it's, it's very interesting that Alien, he's not really prioritizing on spell them just yet. He wants the Hunter Strike so that even if he dies, it's totally fine as long as he can get a kill. And I feel like this is a good idea. If you're behind, try to get kills, try to slow the game. That's great. And speaking of which, oh, my Venus got caught. 
That's the pick up that Incendio wants to look for. They're looking for the skirmishes already, and Wise is forced to back up. We can already see the positioning coming in as Incendio tries to get that mid control. Petrified oh with God. the final blow popped in by Edward. No real follow up. Ah, he's gonna jump in for Apex. Finds the main links onto two members. Edward running for the hills, getting dished out by the damage coming from Alien as Sunshine gets the damage on towards Haji. Oh, half right for the hills. He's gonna fall, and it's Incendio. a 3 4 0 for Incendio Supremacy. Venus jumping in, looking for the Divine Judgment, but will not be able to find it. Incendio equalized with a massive team fight going in their favor. Amazing, amazing execution. Now, the turtle fight here. Oh my, Venus still opening up the map, but it seems like the turtle will be comfortably taken by TNZ. No casualties uh, earlier, but man, Incendio, what a response. Wow. Yeah, I, I just gotta say, right, because we see the, 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 the shift in tempo. Yeah. Once we see they completed one item, one of their core items, they're like, yeah, let's, let's fight it out. And I, I kind of feel like this is showing the growth of Incendio is like, we're not gonna force fights. We're gonna fight when we have the items and oh. TNZ goes in. What a read by TNZ. Just <laughs> going full Chad mode there, jumping into the bush. But yeah, I like what you mentioned. They have, they picked up the damage dealers first pick, right? Those were the two first picks for Incendio and they, they know exactly how to play this composition. Rosa, Sunshine, they were just waiting to get those item power spikes despite Sunshine being caught off early. He's still able to actually get those items right on time for that crazy skirmish. Take a look at Rosa, 304 stats. So as a Lunox, that's what you want, right? Uh -huh. Amazing. Number eight, perhaps on his way to third item. And of course, Blacklist, they felt this Oh My Venus could not face check as, I guess, as much as he wants now. That Lunox is going to deal a lot of just, damage. Just one, one small point I want to bring up as well, where for Incendio, Sunshine of here, every single time there's a fight, he uses the Banished Rage. So it looks like it, it, it's an interesting way of playing the Beatrix, and it does show that they want to group up together, and they want to play team fights. So they're, they're kind of like challenging Blacklist, like, you want to Ube? Ube ahead. I'm going to drop bombs <laughs> on your head. Ooh, I, I like, like that. that. Thank you. <laughs> it rhymes, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love I your try. rhymes. I try. <laughs> Rapper LaFell. But man, again, I, yeah. I agree with you. There's so much CC, there's so much AoE damage coming in from Incendio that it kind of forces Blacklist International to split up in these fights. And guess what? That's not what they want to do. Blacklist International with their signature Ube, they want to stick together. That's the thing. Looking at their composition right now, it feels like it isn't a full Ube comp. It's a composition right now that's a bit more flexible. And because of that, right now they are actually losing out in the board control mm. in the ninth minute of the game. Take a look outside though, Alien, Black Dragon Fall popped here, three on one. Not a good time there, Alien needs to go down 5v4. Perhaps now, with the space and man advantage, Blacklist might get this free lord. Yeah, Blacklist right now, they're playing their own macro play. They're splitting up the map. They're trying to move like a 2-3 or a 1-4, trying to catch someone off guard and, and make it so that Incendio, you have a choice. Pick your poison right now. And speaking Ooh. of which, Tianzi is there in the middle, but so far it looks like not a big engage from Blacklist. You gotta understand, Blacklist International, sure, they have a man advantage, but what did they use resource-wise? They used three ultimates to pick off Alien, and right now, it's gonna be Blacklist International still going in for the Lord. It's taken to a quarter of its health. Apex 47, trying to open up the map, jumps in with the Fatal Links, jumps on it, gets the damage done with the Violet Requiem to follow it up. Oh, Haji's gonna be taken low, Rosa jumps in, it's a double kill for Oh, but Edward's caught in the midst. Rosa backing up, Incendio Supremacy have lost the fight. It's a 2-0, but practically a 3-0 if you count in the Lord for Blacklist. Blacklist knowing what they are doing, what they are best here in the towards the late game. They won the team fight, they got the Lord as well, and Incendio is back going back to the drawing boards. Now, they have to defend the foul. What do you see? Honestly, it was quite unfortunate because that was a very good setup by Apex 47, but it looks like the, he Apex as well as TNZ, they weren't on the same page because if he actually knocks them up and, and gets that chain CC, it would have been great. Let's look at the instant replay to see a great engage by Apex, but look at where TNZ oh, lands. Man. He did not hit the other two members, and because of that, they could not chain the CC. They couldn't actually put out the damage that they wanted to put out. So it's a small mistake, but at 11 minutes, it is a big mistake. Big shout out to Oheb, man. He practically just read Apex 47 like an open book. He moved back right on time and 
To add on to that, even if he got caught, he still had that Purify. Yeah, I mean, he did not use that Purify, but now, with the offense here, Blacklist will take all the Tier 2s, munching on the mid, and will surely take the top side as well. Question is, how many base turrets will fall here? Hmm. That's a big question right now, as we are going to see Apex 47 already opening up the map once again. Venus jumping in with a flicker, not able to find Alien. It's Stone Sendio actually micromanaging okay. the waves really, really well. No base turrets gone, to answer your question. Yeah, right now I kind of feel like Incendio, they have no choice but to kind of be a little bit patient. Because right now I kind of feel like Rosa as well as Sunshine, they have enough damage. They just need a proper setup. Yeah. And in terms of proper setup, you shout out Oheb. If they can catch him, that's great. But it's easy said it's not. But oh my Venus, it's all for them. That's all the damage popped in. And the back line's completely going to be obstructed here by Blacklist International. Oheb free hitting his aliens going to be bursted down. Oh my Rosa God. Oh, the what? This is He's the what? only man left standing. Blacklist in. International, what? they take no prisoners, they take Incendio Supremacy out with a wipeout, five for two, and they look for the base to end the opener for the M4 World Championship, topping their group for now, Blacklist International strikes first. 12 minutes is all they took to take the game, one mistake, they they went all in towards Venus. That's not a good resource to put in, LaFell. Yeah, but anyway, congratulations to our defending champions winning the very first game of M4 here in Jakarta. And it really shows, like, even though, yeah, they won, but I gotta say, man, Incendio, that was a very good showing. Very good showing. He's just like one or two it mistakes. Was it, it was impressive. It's just like.